In this Go High Level Client Portal tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up and customize your own client portal. So if you're selling online courses or if you're hosting a community in Go High Level, it's just going to look on brand and also really professional. Now, just before we get into it, if you haven't yet got Go High Level, I've also got an extended 30 day free trial. I also have my Go High Level Accelerator course that I actually give away free to referrals. So if you want to get bonus templates and tutorials, make sure you get Go High Level using the links in the description. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is my demo account inside of Go High Level. This is actually what we're going to try and achieve today. And this is my own client portal within um, Go High Level. Now, as you can see, we've got my own custom domain. We've got this nice little image as well. And the most important thing here, which I feel like a lot of people neglect, is on different devices, it still scales really nicely. A lot of people are just really lazy when it comes to creating client portals. There's also a lot of text that appears inside of this image area. I've removed that, so I'm gonna show you how to do it as well. This is what I've found to be the best and most attractive way to build out the client area. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. The first thing you wanna do is come to domain setup if you haven't yet. All you need to do is type in the domain that you want to use for your membership area. So it could be a full domain, could be a subdomain. So I used members.philwilson.co, okay? And then just click on add domain. It's gonna give you the prompts to basically add it. Some services they'll actually do for you within like 10 seconds, it's pretty amazing. So go ahead, add that. Once you're finished, let's go ahead and move to the next step. And this is where all of the good stuff's going to happen. This is going to be branding. So once you get into branding, you'll be brought with a portal name and portal description. And this is actually going to be this text over here. And this is the default client portal page. So obviously we wanna change this and make it look good. So what we're gonna do first of all, and just to let you know, I am going to hide these, but I just wanna show you how to do them to start with. So I'm just gonna put members area, okay, as the heading. In the portal description, I'm just gonna say, this is the membership area for students of Phil Wilson, okay. I'll just put Phil actually. There's a very short description window. We've also got our branding colors down here. And then we've got favicon portal image and logo then we've got a support email address so i'm just going to put in here hello at philwilson.co okay and also a copyright so i'm just going to put in here i am phil wilson right and let me show you what these settings do now the crazy thing with this is the cache inside of the portal settings is so strong and it took me a really long time to figure this out but if i went ahead and press refresh now a it's actually worked this time, but a lot of the time it didn't work. So if you want to check your updates, I recommend actually just opening them in an incognito window just to ensure you don't have any cache kept. All right. So that sort of caught me off guard there, but that's, that happened a lot when I was first customizing it. So the next thing is your favicon or your portal image. A favicon, of course, is the little logo at the top. You can't really see mine, but mine's a PW logo for my name. So you could go ahead, add that in the favicon, favicon area as well as the logo area. But the portal image is actually going to be the one on this side here. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. So let's go now to Canva. What we want to do is click on create. I'm going to choose custom design and use these exact uh, measurements. I'll also link to this image down below if you want to use it, but 1920 by 2160. Okay. So go ahead, add those in and create this image. This is going to give us the background. Now, once we've created this, it's time to start designing it. So you can go ahead and either choose a light theme. Just keeping in mind, it is a light background, so it will look like one image, or you can do what I have done and create a black image. So I'm gonna choose black. And now it's time to actually add in some messaging. So if you wanted your client portal to have just a black background with this text over it, you can just create imagery maybe around the top or the bottom. But what I'm gonna do is once again, show you how to create this one here. So the next thing to do is come to uh, elements on the left. I'm just going to choose computer, right? Try to look for a little graphic. And what I'm looking for inside of here is just something that's got something on the screen. So maybe this, this looks actually pretty cool. So I'm just gonna add this one here, just increase the size a tiny bit, and I'm gonna find where center is and just move it down a fraction, okay? Because what I wanna do first is actually put maybe a heading and then I'm gonna add in a little description. So once I've done that, I'm now gonna click on text. I'm gonna click text box, and I'm just gonna off the bat, change the text to white so I can see it. Okay, I'm gonna drag it up the top here, and I'm just gonna say, um, welcome to the, okay? And I might even just decrease this first size, and I'll make it bold, just so it pops a little bit, and then I'll copy and paste it, and then I'm just gonna put members area, okay? And I'm just gonna pump this up quite a bit, because obviously this is the main, um, the main text for this entire back office 
uh, image. Okay, welcome to the members area. So that looks pretty cool. And now all I'm going to do is once again text box, um, and I'm just going to drag it up a little bit. This time I'm not going to have it as bold. I'm just going to leave it as regular text. All right, and I might make it around. Oh, I don't know, 38. Doesn't need to be too big. Might just drag it down a little bit here. And what I'm going to say is you can also access all resources from the Go Colab app. Okay. Might just uh, make it a little bit wider. Because if you don't know already, the Go Colab app is Go High Level's gray label app um, for the courses and for communities. Right. So that looks pretty good. Maybe separate it down a little bit. Now, what I want to do is also get the iOS App Store logo as well as the Google Play logo. The easiest way to do this is to come into Google, come to Images, type in Play Store logo, go to Tools, go Color, Transparent. Okay, and this is going to give us a transparent background. So we'll just choose this one, um, this one here. I think this looks pretty good. Yep, that looks pretty good. So we'll go Save As, All right? Punch that in there. Same with the iOS Images. Okay. We're going to go tools, color, transparent. We'll just choose the first one here. Okay. Save image as, and then we're just going to go ahead and drop these on our canvas. Okay. So we'll just drag this a little bit smaller, something like that, just to make it look super legit. Cause a lot of people, um, a lot of people want to see this sort of thing. So I'll just drop this in. Okay. Same thing here. Okay. And we'll just, Put it to the side so that's looking really neat okay just minor adjustments so we're pretty much good to go that looks actually really fresh i might just drag these down a little tiny bit perfect so i'm happy with this i might just even bold go collab app perfect so now what we want to do is go ahead and i'm going to call this my um, members area um, image okay go ahead click on download okay you can have a png or jpg it doesn't matter click download now let's come back to our members, sorry, let's come back to our settings. And now we've got portal image. So click on image. I'm gonna go and upload my download. Okay, and that's been done. Click on save settings. Now, if we go and reload this, okay, and it might take a little while to load it the first time. It looks good, right? It looks really good, except we now have this text on screen, right? So this is where a lot of people get stuck. So what we're gonna do is now use a little bit of CSS magic. So go ahead, click right on the screen, click inspect, and then go this little button on the left here. It might also be at the top and just highlight over this text. Okay. And here you can see we've got um, all this information, right? And we really just want to get quite narrow with this text. So you see this here, if you click on that, it's going to give you the whole section first, click on the little arrow to push it out. And you can see it's just highlighting the text. Now on the right, you can see we have this width. I'm just going to type in here display. Okay, equals none and boom, it's gone. So we're just going to copy this entire code here. Okay, so copy, come back to our settings and down here in advanced, we have custom JavaScript or custom CSS. I'm going to paste it in the CSS section, click save settings. Okay. And now if we refresh it one more time, you'll notice nothing actually happens. And this is where the caching actually comes in. So if you come back to your page, we're just going to add in a little bit of code and remove a little bit of code as well. So the first thing to do is backspace the specificity part and just make it look like this. We'll also remove the width because these are just unnecessary pieces of code added. But what we want to do is after none, do a little space and then put important. Okay. And then at the bottom, go ahead and save that now. Now it's not going to work instantly. This is a weird thing that took about 10 minutes for it to actually action. If I go ahead and refresh it now, it hasn't done anything. If I go and open this in an incognito window, it still probably hasn't done anything. And I don't know why, but it takes about 10 minutes. So if I load this one more time, it's still there. But if you come back 10 minutes later from now, it's going to disappear. And when it finally works, it's going to look something like this. So that is how you customize your Go High Level client portal. Hopefully this has helped you create a nice customized version of your own portal for Go High Level. Once again, if you haven't yet got Go High Level, I've got my 30 day free trial in the description. It comes with the bonus Go High Level Accelerator course. But that's it for this video. Smash thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.